Right, we're going to clear this backlog of new sets that I bought in a couple of years ago. I think you can just about get one of these. Uh, when I look on TTI Courier's website, the latest catalogue I can find from them is 2021. And the page with this on says TCB 560 stroke 565. So they bungled them in together. Right. Well, you get this nice lady. And as I open it up, of course there's no instruction book because there never is. And the trouble is I can't download one because I can't find the model being represented in any way online. So what I've done is the page that tells you how to set the channel for the country you're in. I've printed it off from the 560s instruction book. So straight away we see the radio is either 12 or 24 volts it's got fingerprints all over it it's not as new as anybody would have me believe and we're going to open it up because that's what it's all about this channel Oh yes, it has it gives the illusion of having two displays. But in fact it's one display with a bar across. And it's as if you're going to get Well let's power it up. It's as if you get your S meter and RF meter on that upper section and then your channel on the lower section. Right, power supply on 13.8 volts. And that's where I'm going to need my page, I think, to... What do you do? Let's just see whether we can make it go into a... Is it that one? Yeah, look at that, I've done it. No, it didn't do it. <laughs> right, switch it off, switch it on. Dial in UK. We either have to wait, or perhaps we have to plug the mic in and actually press transmit. So we wait, don't we, on this one. So does it let us now go into... No. Once you're in UK, you're in the UK and that's it. Now it does have... It does reckon you can change the colour of the display. So do we turn it on with the emergency switch? Yes. So Roger Bleep on. What's the next feature? How do we get to that? Timeout. Scan. VL. Noise blanker, bleep, tone, is it screen? In absence of an instruction book, I wouldn't mind it not being blue.
Mmm. It's not hiding, is it? No. Perhaps it's done the same as the other model, the 560. Carrying on taking the screws out. So it says 13.8 volts, 13.2 volts on the back. It doesn't mention 24 volts, but the box does. But I'm not going to ramp it up just to find out. We did that before, didn't we, with a Moonraker set that said it was 24 volts. Until the smoke came out. Right, I've got a plug-in speaker. The board does say five six five. Unplug the speaker. The fact you've got this choke here gives me the impression that it is going to be twenty four volts. The heat shrink and heat shrink, heat sink and sleeving there. So we've got absolutely no adjustments for transmit and receive uh, per se, but there are presets for various functions. There's no coils. There's one there, and I would think that's going to be VCO. No, 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 I'm wrong. VCO is there. So that's going to be a detector, isn't it? So either, is it the AM detector or is it the FM detector? One of the detectors has got a coil. What is nice is you can adjust the frequency, which is there. And hopefully some of the others are labelled too. So... Revision 1.1, 1 .1, 2014 June. So we can't be expecting it to go from AM to FM on UK because the rules didn't change till September 2014. So this radio predates that legislation. So that's going to be the power input choke and that's going to be the modulation transform for AM. Luckily, all the presets appear to be labelled AM mod, and then, of course, not FM deviation that just says RV701, tight squelch adjust. RV401. DSS adjust. Now, is it going to be digital squelch or is it going to be just a preset squelch? Right, well, we'll get a sheet of paper on our clipboard. We'll find out. The 560 circuit diagram, but it might not be anything like the 565. So, what I'm looking for is a signpost. If I can find a squelch preset, for example, 
I can see whether they're using the same designation as the set in front of me. So we're going to have the FM chip there. RV141 DSS adjust one four one and what's in front of this? One four one DSS. So ordinary squelch is one oh one down there. Is there and it's given it's one eight one. I may be misreading it. Yes, this looks like it is the same radio, and that does go to a totally different place on the circuit to where that one goes. So, I it does seem like it has a, a digital auto squelch and not just a preset one, right? Anyway. That's something I wanted to know. What I do need is still a sheet of paper. Right, picture and picture on. And we'll press transmit. Let's make sure we're on channel 20. We're not, we're on. It doesn't have a rotary channel control, it's just up down. And that's just on the set, not repeated on the mic. Not that I want it on the mic, but some people might, which is why I mention it. And when I press transmit, nothing happens because we're not actually plugged into the test gear. In fact, we're plugged into the test set behind me, because the last thing we did on the last set was deviation. So I think the sensible thing to do is to start off with deviation while we're connected to the test set and actually set that. That's another stage then eliminated. So let's see what we've got. Wallet. We've got about 1.8. So bring that up to 2.2. So it's that preset there. You just need a tool that fits. I think that one's going to. So it's now 2.2 .2 to 2.5 kilohertz. We're not doing that. Let's see about frequency. So we now plug into the other test set. We actually zoom in on this a bit because it's, a, it's quite a small set. Right, transmit power. Well, it's certainly beyond 3 watts. It's 3.1. 
we're going to optimize this on UK band. Well, to be honest, it's not going to be much to optimize which is band um, sensitive, shall we say? So, channel one. Well, that's going to be annoying. The bottom fell off. I'm going to have to put a screw just to stop it doing that. I want to leave the bottom on because of the possibility of a capacitive effect. If I don't have it on. Mark's a bit too light. So pop it onto channel 40. And the power is 2.8 watts. And pop it onto channel 1. The power is 2.9 watts. So go back to channel 20. And see whether we can get anywhere near four watts with it. The unlabeled preset there, we'll just see whether that's power. No. just about squeezes four watts on a most test sets this is going to be above four watts it's just this one selective so it's only showing what you're actually transmitting on this frequency it's now four watts on there Four watts on there. Go back to twenty and check again, because it's going to drop as it gets hot. Let's put three point nine five. It's just not quite. There. It doesn't have low power because it isn't a, a twenty seven eighty one set, of course, with it being C multi mon. Oh, I forgot to take the current, um, so. That's that skipped. 1.43. And we'll look at the frequency. What we've got? 2779156. Slightly high, which is excellent. So, with the other trimmer tool, we'll do the trimmer capacitor just there good this is a course adjustment I don't know how I got there, but we did. So now we'll look at the receive. So 
will set 27.7.9.1.2.5 on the signal generator. We'll put the sign nav meter on. And we haven't plugged in the test equipment speaker. So we'll switch to the sign ad meter. We'll see what we've got. It's not gonna we're not gonna make any difference to this. Um, because there's no adjustments to receive. So 0.32. Naught point two seven not point seven turn squelch to full. I want a hundred microvolts for it to open. That's exactly where it opens. So we don't have to adjust the tight squelch adjustment there. Let's see where it is our minimum. And it is 0 0.8, 0 0.95. Then it's got the uh, DSS. So let's see where it is on there. It's two. And again, if we want to adjust there, we've got the DSS scroll to adjust. I'll do a photo of this and make it a bit bigger for you to see. So that's fine as it is. So we've no presets for meter unless that preset which we don't know what it does is something towards that. Let's have a look. So with S9 on the radio we've got a full set of bars. So I don't expect in a million years that that does anything towards that. No. I'll try and find that on the circuit diagram and see what we're actually doing there. Uh, on transmit, press the, the full set of bars. You know, it, it's all meaningless. Let, let's just go back to receive. Turn the signal generator down. They're in twos anyway, you know, so don't think there's as many segments as it looks like there are. So that's all fine as it is because there's no adjustment on those. So we put FSD and we put FSD full scale deflection. So I'll pause the video, we'll look at that preset on the circuit for the previous model, I think it's going to be the same. Right, well, I've not discovered what that is, so, oops, let's go back to switching the channels. I did look on Germany in case it's the one watt setting. Uh, doesn't matter what channel I do this on, so we're on CPT FM, and it's now doing watt in power. Spot on four. And just go to CPT AM doing four. So let's put the right meter on the screen for you. So let's look at modulation. Wallow. And it's swung straight over to 
eighty percent. So we'll just go a little tiny bit higher. Wallow. Wallow. And that brings us up to ninety percent. So that's the, that's AM mod. So what we'll do, we'll just check whether we've got this is an AM detector or whether it's an AM an FM detector. Uh, so we'll just. I want to write down what the. Uh, I'll tell you. We'll go to channel twenty. Make this a bit fairer. Uh, I just want to write down the sensitivity of AM because it's going to differ to FM. It's usually quite a bit inferior. Uh, so we want 27.205 on receive. Need to plug the extension speaker back in, which I had to unplug to do that AM modulation test. That goes into feedback. So let's put that back on there. 27.205 now. When we're done on the air test for this, we will test it in AM. There we go. So we'll find out what this does. So first of all, sensitivity. Turn the scroll off. Volume sensible. So for 12 dB cyanide, it's one microvolt, which isn't bad. So AM sensitivity. One microvolt for 12 dB sign. A lot of sets will be about two and a half, so that's not bad at all. So we're now going to put a big signal on of 100 microvolts. We'll look at the oscilloscope. We'll see whether this is the AM detector or whether it's the FM detector. Because I can bet my bottom dollar it's one of them. It's our only receive adjustment. It would be nice if I could find the right tool that actually fits. So it has affected that. But let's just go into FM. Which should test set to FM and see whether it affects that. No, it doesn't. So it's AM detector. Back to AM. So if you look carefully, it's shifting it from side to side. And that is our peak. I'm not suggesting for a minute it was out, but we have got an AM detector as an adjustment so that's interesting to know so we've only got one mystery which is 701 I cannot find it on the circuit diagram but this is a circuit diagram for the other model so we're in the vicinity of all the 700s are in this power um, is the driver station the power amplifier of the transmitter so you'd expect anything with the 7 on it to be there. Once again, let's just see whether it's on is an AM adjustment. I looked at it on the German one, couldn't get it to do anything. So I have to unplug the extension speaker again. So let's go over to the power meter. So we're on the... We're showing 4 watts. No. Well, I'll give up on that. So I'm going to go and do, uh, do something else. That's time up on this. Uh, all we need to do is to uh, put it back together and uh, and see if anybody's out there, which they never are, but you never know. But it, uh, it certainly seems to work all right uh, as far as the, the test equipment shows. Okay, folks, so to finish this video, I've done a photo. So we've got the Mystery Control 701, 
We've got another Mystery Control RV 101. I can't find it on the circuit diagram for the previous model. And I'm not going to I fiddle that, that could find any difference. I don't need to fiddle with that. Um, and it's in the receiver section. Whereas that's in the early stage of the transmit section. So you just... I don't know. But what we have been able to do is... AM mod. AM detector on receive. Transmit power, squelch, AM detector, frequency VCO, and FM deviation. So that's what we needed to know. But as time goes on, uh, there's every chance that a service manual will happen for these. Because they're only a couple of years old. And hopefully someone will share that information like I do so that's it we'll put it to bed we filled in our form here and it does everything we'd expect it to do and it works quite well so I'll put the lids back on and we'll connect it up to the aerial instead of the test equipment Right, we'll better plug it into the roof aerial. The Antron 99, or whatever it is, 99. Could be a Solacon 99. So I'd like to know how you don't short out the power leads. I'd like to know how you um, change the colour of the display. Oh, is it that? BL backlight. Oh, I just wonder, if do you hold it for a long time? Yes! We've got those three options. Well, I think red's going to be better for me. Uh, I really can't see that uh, blue very well at all. Oh, well, that's in... Uh, it's CEPT. I'm not interested in that. It's going to be full of foreign interference. So we just need to reprogram the set for UK. Boots up on one, which is annoying. <laughs> Nineteen a Roger. He'll be in Nottingham, thirty-five miles away, and he won't be on four watts. It does have scan. Unfortunately, it's picked up something it shouldn't be there. Oh, I'm still in scan. I'm fighting it. So, I'm going to try, we'll try and use it, with scratchy corner on the DSS automatic digital squelch. So there you have it, a bit more unusual with the display being split like that. So the TTI TCB565, it's, although it's a new set, they're now a couple of years old. Thanks for watching.